it's a beautiful morning. It's very, very foggy. I haven't seen it this foggy in a long time. The only question I have is how long this is going to last. Today, we are going to do it differently. Today, we are going to do it by bike. Well, it didn't take too long to answer my question. The fog is probably not going to last a long time. As you can see here behind me and that way, it's not that foggy. It was definitely foggier back there. It's definitely foggier that way, but you never know what the fog is going to do. All of that hot fog might come this way. But in any case, I'm going to try to chase it. I'm going to try to chase the fog. Even if it's not as foggy as I was hoping for, I think it's still going to be a beautiful morning for, for photography. You see, this is what I love the most about doing photography on a bike. You cover way more ground than walking, not as much as driving, but when you're photographing locally like I am today, that doesn't really matter. But you still have the flexibility of walking, and that is that you can stop anywhere, like right here on the side of the road. You don't have to worry about where to park the car. The bike gives you that freedom along with faster speeds, which is especially useful when you are chasing the conditions like I am doing today. You might recognize this tree because I photographed it many times in the past. I don't think today the conditions are ideal because there is not a lot of isolation between the tree and the background, but otherwise this is a beautiful scene. I came for the cows, but I stayed for that trunk of that tree over there. And great news because the fog looks like it's coming back. It's getting more intense around here, which makes me very happy because I was thinking that I had made a very big mistake by coming in this direction because I was seeing fog everywhere in every other direction but here. So let's keep going. There are some storks flying around, but they are pretty hard to get because when I see them, they are gone. Anyway, I stopped here again. I saw a beautiful scene, those trees back there. I like the trees in the foreground, the trees in the, in the, in the background. There is a beautiful play in between the two layers, and that's what I'm going to try to capture if 
I can avoid the weeds over here. This is the problem with the spring, of course. The, uh, the weeds are pretty tall and probably full of ticks. I'm always amazed by, you know, gates on fields like this where there's nothing. I mean, I understand the fence, it's just that the gate, I don't really get it. But in this case, what I saw here is that group of trees in the background, uh, maybe use the gate to show the contrast and to show that, of course, there are dogs now. Anyway, I'm going to try that to play with the fence, with the gate and with those trees in the background. Yeah, not so sure about this one. Actually, the image that I like the most is of just a post of the uh, fence. Anyway, let's go because those dogs are going crazy. Well, I already know I want to take a picture of that tree. Looks beautiful. I'm going to start from here, from far away. It's so beautiful. This is what I was talking about. This is all I was hoping for. I'm going to use the line on the road as well. Now to take a photo like this as a leading line to the tree and the shed. I just wish the shed was not there for now, but if I get down, no, nah, but it's not the same. If I go high, you need to try all of the different angles. You see, I like it higher because the leading line is even more pronounced that way. Okay, I, I already know how I'm going to edit this. I'm going to be uh, using ma a mask for the line of the road, making it brighter than it is right now. So it stands out even more. Everything else should stay the same. This is beautiful. There you go. Okay, that's enough for that composition. I'm going to try to do the tree alone, as I said, originally. 
but it's, it's just not as good. I could, I mean, I was thinking about, uh, yeah, that is, I'm gonna have to get closer for that. So just simply the road straight with the tree on the left, as you can see there. Um, but I don't like the shed. I mean, I can take it. See, I'm just trying to avoid those uh, bushes there on the right. So, see how far back I can go, something like that. Camera as high as possible to show more of the road. Um, try, you see, the problem is that I have to tilt it a little bit to the left because otherwise the shed is kind of cut. It gets cut out there, and I don't like that. But if the road here, it should be perfectly center otherwise it's gonna look weird well I'm just gonna take it anyway um, by getting higher uh, you see you, this is it's a huge difference as you can see when you are lower you don't see the lines the lines don't converge um, on the bottom of the frame but they disappear on the middle of the frame the higher you go you see the lines disappear go all the way to the bottom of the frame and that uh, makes them work better as leading lines. So I hope that, that explains it better. But yeah, when you have a leading line like that, the higher you uh, raise uh, your camera, the better they're gonna work. Okay, I got a little bit closer now and the uh, composition I was uh, trying to make earlier still works. Um, I'm gonna take another one still with the uh, 28 to 200 but then I, I will be switching to the wide angle to the 17 to 28 pretty soon because I think it's gonna be the right choice for here but yeah this one still works um, it, it fills the frame quite too much uh, in my opinion it doesn't have as much breathing room as the previous one you see now we are using the uh, 17 to 28 and the difference is just huge this is a beautiful image and it's going to work much better than the previous one because of all the room that the tree and the shed have now on the left and the uh, bottom still not as good as the one i got back there with the 28 to 200 in this case because um, we are getting those bushes there so there are more elements on the uh, photo the frame is also split in two uh, in the in the middle I liked more the previous one where the subject was on the uh, top third you know in the yeah top third of the uh, frame I'm gonna try to get something similar here with the wide angle but it's not as easy yeah you see there is no way for me to place the subject if I want to do it in the top third like before I have to do something like that that is better but still, I'm showing those bushes on the left. And that is just more stuff in the frame. Is um, There you go. In my opinion, it's just not as, as good, but you gotta try it. You gotta try because you never, you never know. Following that same philosophy, I'm gonna move now to the other side of the tree and see what we can do from there. Of course, you might recognize this tree. You might recognize this shed because, of course, I've been here a million times but it's always different the vegetation is different so we might we might be able to get something i had never gotten before might not be as good from here the tree school well there's a car coming hopefully they see the bike i don't really know why they have to go so fast anyway i like the tree i really like the shape but there are so many reasons why the other side is much better Let's begin with those bushes right there that adds clutter to the frame. Also, the tree has a second trunk. I don't know if it's a, a different tree or the same tree, but in any case, you couldn't see it from the other side because it was just behind that trunk. You can see it from here. It adds more clutter. The background is not as good because there are uh, isolated trees. It's not like we had before a group of trees that is much better for the background even the line might not work as well as uh, it did from there i'm gonna show you i'm gonna take it i'm gonna show you it's gonna be easier that way what else can we do here i see that fence is beautiful i wish i could get in here but 
all of those weeds. Yeah, no. It's not a lot of traffic today. I'm glad because it's Saturday, Saturday morning. So a little bit less busy day, I guess. I'm not getting in here, of course. The, there are a lot of weeds here and it'd be a mess for a photo that I don't know if it's worth it. But I'm going to show you what I'm going to try to do. Um, the foreground is going to be a little bit chaotic, a little bit messy, but I'm going to try to make it as blurry, as out of focus as possible. Sadly, I only have the 28 to 200 uh, right now with me and that it gives me what um, an aperture of 3.2, 3.5, depending on the focal length that I'm using. I'm going to try to make it um, to make all of these weeds even less uh, clear uh, in post. I don't want details. I don't want a lot of contrast in the foreground because I want all the attention to go towards the fence. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to raise the camera as high as possible and then focus on that first post of the fence. Uh, it's going to be something like that. Uh, it's just playing with the angle now where the fence starts and ends. Depends if you want the fence steeper, more almost straight, or if you want it more diagonal. The images are very different. There is no right or wrong, of course. It just depends on what you want to do. Okay. Kind of like that one, I think. It's hard to tell. Because even though I see the general composition in the monitor, I don't see the details, so it might not work. Oh well. But in any case, just look at this beautiful, beautiful morning. I couldn't ask for anything better. I was not expecting it, but I'm very, very happy that we got this. I'm going to try to photograph the shed. There is a little entrance here. Oh. It rained quite a lot last night, so I was hoping for a little bit of fog, but we haven't had a daylight today in a long time. As I said many times, these kind of days usually happen in the winter, not right, not now in late spring, summer, but I'm never gonna say no to this, of course. Trying to find a good angle of that shed. That's just great. People racing on a foggy day on very narrow roads. That's just great. You know this house, another favorite of mine right there. So of course, I'm gonna take a photo. There is a lot of weeds in the front. I think that's new, so. There's a dog in the house next to this one and it's very loud. I don't want it to start barking again.
Yeah, it is different than than I remember it at least the photos I take I took here before. farther away. Showing a lot of ground, the house more to the top. Just making sure that everything is in place. There are some bushes and trees in the background. All right. All right, probably good enough. I really like this one. Uh, it might not work as well as I think it's going to, but I really like, I don't know, the goal just here in a very foggy landscape. I'm trying to focus down here on this uh, intersection of those uh, lines on the, uh, on the court at 2.8. That's the, the fastest I can do here. So the, the goal is just slightly out of focus in the background is as well. So the goal is gonna be uh, higher on the frame. I might want to go um, with the wide angle lens for here to make the background even smaller. And for sure, I want to go higher to show more of the uh, court. Well, I am not sure about that because you see, now I can see more of the background behind the goal. If the camera is lower, I can see more of the uh, fog, more of the sky. So I think I'm going to keep it at this level but I think the wider angle lens is gonna work better. Let me try. All right, it does work better. Mm, kind of. Now the goal looks a little bit distorted and I'm including more of the background like that post over there. That post is more visible, so not entirely sure about this.
All right. So I just saw these. This is the kind of seams that I really like. We have this tree here in the foreground. We have that other tree that is the one that I like the most in the middle ground. And then we have another one and more in the background. Now it looks pretty cool today because the fog, even though you can still see the trees in the background perfectly, they are just slightly less clear because of the mist. Hmm. What about like that? Might have to go like this. Hmm. Kind of like this one. This right here is a cherry tree, by the way, and it's full of cherries. They look amazing. I've been picking a lot at my parents' farm because they have a couple of cherry trees and they are very good. And this is making me actually very hungry. I still haven't had breakfast. It's 10 in the morning. I've been out for almost two and a half hours, almost three hours. So yeah, I think it's gonna, it's gonna be time to, to, to head back soon. It feels good when it's downhill. They don't run away. Oh, no, 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 go. Look at me. Look at me. Well, you only get one chance. Hello, guys. How are you doing? You're tied up. That's not cool, man. Oh, they are tied up to each other. Okay, well, that doesn't work. They're way too close to the fence. I really like that one next to that little shed. I might get a second chance now. There you go. this field. I really like that tree. Thank you. 
Oh, just in time, it got really sunny all of a sudden out there. It was fun, it was really fun. I should take the bike more often when I do uh, photography. I hope the video was entertaining. I hope you like the images and the, the beautiful atmosphere that we had this morning. I can't wait for the next one. Hopefully very soon. Until then, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Oh, no, that's not how you do it. You do it like...